what most people don't realize is that mobile phone towers. That entire area is affected by the directional transmitter that's actually communicating with that tower. And we're shooting paint on the wall. Matter of fact, 95% of those circuit cutter switches installed without consultation are installed incorrectly and there's no benefit. Here we are in the finished home built by Hemp Technologies. Now in this home radiation shielding was incorporated which is why we were involved. Now the cool part is always when the build is finished that now we can measure what the levels have become with the shielding in place and compare them to of course what they were. Now funny little situation that happened here. In the old footage as you'll see, you'll see me use an older instrument. And in the interim of this home being built, we now use the new geovital instrument, which measures a far greater range of the high frequency radiation, the radio frequency radiation that arrives here. And for this video, I was going to use the old instrument for you, just to compare apples with apples, so to speak. Now, as it turns out, not uncommon for this particular model, is that if it's exposed to an intense amount of high frequency radiation, um, it has an amplifier in it and you can blow that amplifier up. So we got here, we took some measurements inside, went outside, took some readings and well what have it, it started and then it was gone. We just get all zeros. So it seems that the outside situation has blown up my instrument. So we're kind of forced now to use the new instrument to compare with and in all fairness as this measures a far greater range we would expect those result figures at the end to be slightly higher than they would have been with this instrument but we'll, we'll see how we go so anyway here's some footage of how the build started what the levels were then so let's have a look at them we'll compare it with it is with the way it is now Let's have a look at what that radiation exposure at the present time is in this bedroom. Uh, this instrument measures microvolts, you know, what the body is exposed to. Um, so let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, so as you could see, that value, uh, you know, was kind of hovering around the 1400, 1500 microvolts. So this is, of course, very high. Um, Ideally, we would like that measurement to be, you know, under 100. Uh, even better yet, under 30. But never quite sure uh, what you will achieve. Um, so we just have to keep our fingers crossed. Uh, here we are entering the, the uh, going to be yeah. Okay, so in this particular spot in the master bedroom, about 14, 15, 1600 microwatts. Okay, so that's how it all started. Now let's measure what our exposure is in this build today. Okay, here we are standing outside the property right at the front door. So we're looking at about uh, five and a half thousand microvolts. Let's have a look inside and see what we've got.
Okay, dropping weight down as we're entering into the shielded area. We've got the master over there. Hang on a second. Just close the door behind me. Wow. <laughs> Five and a half thousand to do this. That's awesome. Okay, welcome everybody. I'm here with Robert Eady from Hem Technologies. Um, it's, I mean, those results were amazing, weren't they? We went from, uh, I think it was about five and a half thousand microvolts on the body yep. to going to under 15 or under 10 in the master bedroom. It was amazing. Really, really, really good, good results. Um, now we're in a, um, you know, hemp home, which is, it, it feels different in here. It, 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 um, uh, it's, I don't know, it's more quiet, it's, it's calm, it's, I don't know, just, you can't put your finger on it, but I've, I've heard a lot of people say that as I enter, as soon as I enter. Yes. Um, but could you maybe j just summarize why hemp? Yes. Well, um, hemp has um, a number of advantages. Um, it's very insulating, thermally. Um, it's also got thermal mass as well. Um, it's extremely breathable. Um, the combinations of the wall board that we use, which is magnesium board, and then the hemp lime mix, and then plaster on the outside. Um, it's all completely breathable, so your external, external walls all breathe, so you've got this always this diffusion process happening, which maintains a uniform level of um, water vapor, CO2 in particular as well, and it, it, it's all alkaline as well, which um, suppresses any fungal growth. So it's all of those aspects that are important for health. Okay, wonderful. And so now you guys have been building hemp houses for a long time, lots of experience, mm -hmm. but why with this particular one did radiation shielding become uh, mm -hmm. of interest? Well, for, uh, this is my personal house and I moved from a different city and when I came here and looked at this location, I saw the cell phone tower 300 meters up the road and I thought I don't like the look of that thing. And um, <clears throat> I want to protect myself. So I started researching that whole aspect because I have a natural interest in health, obviously being building with hemp. And um, I didn't like what I was finding. And I thought, gosh, I've really got to do something about that. And so Geovital came up um, as a very logical um, first choice for going with the protection technology. Yeah. So it was a no-brainer for me. All right. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Uh, and then in terms of the implementation, I mean, we did... Um, you know, quite a bit of planning, of course, in the beginning, looking at mm. wiring and, and, and those sorts of things. Mm. Um, how did you experience the implementation in the project? Well, um, it went very well, I have to say. Um, no uh, difficulties with the implementation of the different materials, um, but there were learning points mixing the hemp um, uh, building method with the protection. There were some interesting learning points on those. Um, and having gone through all of that, uh, we've modified our approach and all of that will now be incorporated into um, future hemp builds. It's, I mean, we consider it such an important point yeah. that it's going to be standard practice for building with hemp, with um, using hemp technologies. Yeah, and, and of course people you know, who get involved with you can mm. benefit from, mm. from mm. you having done of, all mm. of this before, of course. Yes. Um, now, I, I do remember from... Um, um, from the beginning, that where we were looking at the, the placement of the meter box, that you know, we yep. found that the meter box was actually nearly going to end up on a bedroom wall, which mm -hmm. has the potential to be yeah. uh, quite bad. So nice. uh, we got that move. It was a total was redesign, a, a nice <coughs> save. Um, mm -hmm. So that was great. Now, all right. So um, now this is house is is, is now finished. You know, it's ready to be be sold and, and ready for a happy family to to enjoy for a long time, hopefully. Yes. Um, Going forward, um, can you just um, just touch on again where Hemp Technologies stands in terms of you know the, the home designs in the mm. future? Right. Well, there's been a lot of interest expressed, and it was interesting in the sale process for this house. Um, the internet traffic and interest was huge, way beyond um, all the comparative data. Yeah. Um, locally. So, um, yes, there is a huge interest, so we anticipate good things in the future. Um, and as I said before, uh, the EMF shielding will become um, a standard um, th thing for building with him. 
through hemp technologies. All right, wonderful. And then we certainly see, um, you know, globally we're involved with more and more building mm. projects. Mm. Um, so yeah, the world's certainly um, waking uh, waking up for that. So that's great. Mm. So, mm. all right, then finally, um, if people are interested in building a house that mm. feels like this, mm. uh, and I don't want to reinvent the wheel and, and, and go mm. through you know, all the problems, mm. um, how do people get in contact with you? Right. Uh, there's two uh, websites for Hemp Technologies, uh, New Zealand one and USA one, uh, hemptechnologies.co.nz and for the USA it's hemp-technologies.com. Well, wonderful. All right, well, thank you for your time. It's been uh, great yeah. being here again and seeing the readings yeah. from before and after. Absolutely. And um, yeah, if anybody's interested mm. in hemp homes and shielded, um, these are the people to talk to. So thanks for your time. Thank you, Patrick. Wow, what a result. All right, we had five, five and a half thousand microvolts outside and going inside, I mean, you saw it, it went down to as low as 15 or 10 microvolts. Uh, now, ideally, we always want to see under 100, sorry, we want to see under 100, ideally under 30. You're never quite sure where you're going to get. So, you know, this was an absolutely wonderful outcome. Now, we have a wonderful house here, no radiation issues, so perfect for uh, living in and enjoying and ready for the future of how the situation outside may change. Uh, but of course, this is also a very special home on account of being built out of hemp. So if you have an interest in building a healthy house and you know getting that hemp building uh, happening, uh, make sure to contact Hemp Technologies so you don't have to reinvent the wheel and do the project with them. And if shielding is going to be part of it, we'd be delighted to assist you.